Before I begin this review of DMC Devil May Cry the game, so something they named it twice, I think it's very important to mention the fact that I've never really played an actual DMC game before. I mean, I played a demo for the fourth one, but that's about it. DMC Devil May Cry is a reboot of the popular franchise... Devil May Cry, this time developed by UK Team Ninja Theory. Set in Limbo City, the game sees you play as Dante, a rebellious man who fights demons and finds himself drawn into a battle to free humanity from demonic control. The gameplay focuses on chaining stylish combos in a stylish fashion and it's pretty stylish in motion but still feels challenging to keep the combos going. Mixing up combos with a variety of weapons in the game helps keep the combat fresh and the weapon swapping is almost instant so you can mix a huge amount of combos and chain huge attacks without losing any of your combos. The story is also pretty damn good, almost outright satirical in its humour, Dante provides a laugh through being a cocky smart ass loudmouth type to the more straight faced Virgil and Cat, while the bosses provide humour in their own ways from the foul mouth succubus. <laughs> Boss has a unique visual style, not just to the grotesque demonic formers, but the worlds in which you fight them. The world design is another high point, the way the world twists and bends in limbo is distinctly beautiful, as well as a few levels that go with completely different visual styles. The game does a good job of leaving you in a position of never really knowing how the demonic forces will bend the world to try and stop you as the text appears on the wall in a splinter cell conviction style as you fight off the demonic enemies in the game. The variety of weapons you'll obtain will allow you to fight through certain enemies. There's guys with shields that can only take, will only really take damage if you hit them with your heavy weapons, and there's certain enemies that will only specifically take damage from your angel weapons or your demonic weapons. There's a good, it keeps you on your toes in combat, meaning you can't just spam the attack button and hope you'll kill something. You have to learn the combos, you have to understand how to keep it going, keep it fresh, and so on. And I am improvising here, ha, <laughs> off the script. The voice acting and character design is strong as well. Dante, as stated earlier, is a cocky, loudmouth, lovable jerk type, while Virgil and Kata presented more as freedom fighters passionate about their cause. The more straight face style of writing that they present contrasts nicely with Dante's more immature style, creating a strong sense of humour in the cutscenes, even if it does largely centre on swearing and bragging about the size of your own dick. The other thing that kind of interested me about this game was the largely negative reaction to Dante's new appearance. As I said earlier, I haven't really played one of the old games, so it didn't phase me, but I mean, oh, just look at his urbanness. You know, his, his urban hair, his urban clothes. This urban world, oh, it's urban. Oh, urban. Putting the stupidity aside, overall, I actually really enjoyed my time in the new DMC, and I didn't really give a shit about Dante's new urbanness. The gameplay is fresh and challenging, the story is fun and engaging, the world design is incredible, and it was a lot of fun in the end of the day, and I mean, even more considering I only spent £6 to rent it at my blockbusters. Bargain!